So welcome to the any percent tutorial for Prince of Persia the Sands of Time. In this video I want to cover the basics like settings, keybinds and so on. Um, first of all after creating a new profile you want to go into the options, into the graphic stuff and for the effects you want to turn all the effects off. If you don't do that you can basically see nothing while zipping which makes uh, the run harder for no reason. So just turn those off. Also in the advanced options, you absolutely want and have to, that's stated by, by the rules, you have to turn on VSync. What that does is it limits the game to 60 FPS, which is necessary because the zip technique, which is used throughout the whole run, is FPS dependent. And to get consistent results and FPS for all the players, we just use VSync to, to limit it to 60. For the keybinds, which are found here, there are two options, either you play on keyboard and mouse and then all the keybinds can stay the default ones or if you choose to play on controller, the controller is not binded by default so um, if you connect it before you start the game then you go on to here to controller and to bind you have to double click a field until this uh, little line blinks and then press a button on the controller to bind it like that. No matter if you choose to do the main movement on keyboard or the controller, you have to bind forwards and backwards to mouse wheel forwards and mouse wheel backwards. You do that by double clicking this field and scrolling your mou mouse wheel upwards. And then it'll uh, register mouse wheel up, which is here in French because memes. And the same here, you scroll it down and you get mouse wheel down. This is needed for the zips which will be covered in another video of this tutorial series. Also after you bound forwards and backwards to the mouse wheel, you have to bound the secondary for forwards to W and the uh, secondary for backwards to S, so you're still able to move with uh, WASD. So if you properly rebound forward and backwards to the mouse wheel, it should like this if you start a new game or load a save. If you slowly go forwards on the mouse wheel, he'll, the prince will do those weird steps. Like one step is the smallest turn of the mouse wheel, like that, one, one, one. And by doing a full, full scroll, he'll do this weird walking. More on the mouse wheel stuff and zipping in the video about zipping itself. There's only to confirm you bound the mouse wheel properly. Also there are a few programs which could and probably will help you on your journey through this run. All of the programs are linked, maybe with an explanation on how to use them if necessary, in the description. First of all, there's a download for all the save points for practicing. Then there's a program called DXWind, which you need if you want to play the game in windowed mode. Then there's a program called Esotikula, which closes the game if you press the num5 key after you follow the instructions written down with it. That program is not necessary and should probably only be used amongst the top players, because otherwise it's not worth. It saves around 10 seconds throughout the whole run and exists to assure consistent game reload times after saving because those can differ amongst the DX Wind and the full screen players. And last of all there's a trainer which is a program that gives you infinite sand, infinite health, infinite rewind timer um, which is obviously not allowed in the run but really good for practicing. So yeah, all of that is linked in the description of this video. Another thing you don't really need until you're a top player but it's worth mentioning is that there are so-called first-person glitches which will be used two or three times throughout the run um, just to save a few seconds like 10 or 15 in total. First-person glitch is a controller only glitch so it cannot be done with keyboard and mouse. So if you choose to play on controller even though you need the mouse for zipping obviously but if you choose to play on controller you can you can easily do the first-person glitches without adding anything else. On keyboard and mouse if you want to do them, you have to connect and configure a controller in terms of keybinds. Also, if you choose to play on controller, since the game is a bit old, you might run into a small issue. You don't necessarily, but you might. Namely, if you walk diagonally on a controller, the prince will start to walk slowly for some reason. That has to do with bad calibration of the controller, um, which gets fixed by recalibrating. I step by step explain how to do that in the Ziplist tutorial, which I'll link in the description as well with a timestamp where I start talking about this calibration thing. So if you're lucky and you don't have to recalibrate or if you play on keyboard and mouse there's no calibration needed and you can skip this step. Also both ways of playing the game, either keyboard and mouse or controller and mouse, 
are viable since the world record is on keyboard and mouse, the second place is on controller and mouse. None of the methods loses significant time to the other one. Last of all for this video, the zipping glitch I mentioned earlier starts around 4 minutes into the run and these first 4 minutes as well as basic movement will be the topic of the next video done by Catalyst.